Hello guys, welcome to all and in this video we are going to see another important concept in Pandas called group by. So before that let me introduce you two points now. So Pandas data friend out group by function is used to split the data into groups based on some criteria. Okay. Pandas group by is used for grouping the data according to the categories and apply a function on to the categories like averages, sum, maximum and minimum etc. So before that uh, let me introduce the Pandas library now by using import keyword. Let me execute this statement now. Yeah, SLA has executed now. So first of all let's go and create the data frame consisting of student names, marks scored by students in different subjects. So here column 1 specify the names of students and column 2 specify the marks of students and column 3 specify the subjects are presented. Okay. Let me create a data frame by using pd.dataframe and specifying like column name and column values in a row in dictionary format. So let me execute this statement guys so that you can see the output now. Yeah, you can see right the names of students in a column wise, marks and subjects respectively. So here we have three students mainly Ashwan, Ajay and Kiran are marks scored in different subjects like math, physics and social. So from above all uh, from the above data frame I want to do some analysis now. So in the task one let's see who have scored the top marks among all of them. So for this for this group by function helps a lot and the format here is we want to specify the data frame and we want to specify the keyword like group by and also on which in which column we want to specify the group by operation and dot agg like aggregation function we, we gonna use now like sum so we want to get the total marks right so we are, we are going to use sum okay let me execute this statement guys yeah you can see right the total marks scored by ij in all different subject is 109 and kiran is 105 and s is 102 from the above you can clearly see the all data is uh, see that all data is grouped by student names and respective marks are added totally uh, and again we can see, see that Ajay has scored more than Kiran and Ashwan. So group by helps a lot for doing this analysis. Yeah. So let's go and see like the task 2. In the task 2 we want to see the mean score like means total number of marks by number of subjects. Yeah. Let me execute this statement now. Yeah. You can see that right, the coding is same like as above. Like we want to use the data frame dot group by and which column we want to group by and also aggregation function here aggregation function changes we are going to use mean that is average so from here you can see the ajay average is 36.33 and yeah ajay average is more than others so in the toss 3 let me see which subject the students have scored more number of marks so i am uh, doing the same thing like above but here i am providing like aggregation function as max yeah you can see right all the students have scored more number of marks in social and that means like social seems to be easy for all of them so to achieve this functionality group by is helping a lot for us yeah in this way you can see that group by plays a key role like making about sense about the data and also to get valuable information so like and one additional tip to you all if you want to get more about the information about this group by you can refer this uh, documentation in geeks for geeks yeah with all this you can see right how we have performed like analysis on the data frame we have like uh, like total and mean and also max so in this way we can also do more uh, like these operations if you want to get to know about more about information you can press like here and also shift and tab so that you can get the documentation here itself and you can read upon the functionality you, you want to use respectively yeah with all this uh, we have learned about group by yeah guys thanks for your time